am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? Smooth sailing. More traffic. Great looking day ahead. More weather. New details are emerging. More breaking news. Whenever, wherever. That's good news. More ways to know before you go. You're going to like the morning commute. On KSL Today, weekday mornings on KSL 5. Tons trust to stay safe from winter weather surprises? Check, 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 and check. No, before you go, check with the KSL 5 weather specialist. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place. With live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions. With exclusive access. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Orem, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University for tonight's WAC matchup between the visiting Lancers of CBU and the hometown Wolverines of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow along, along with you here the rest of the evening. Alongside Ben Schroeder, our director, producer, statistician, everything. Courtside here, Eman, Oloja Pokey, and Zach Parag. At the tip, and here we go. Utah Valley in their home, white and greens, taking on the Lancers of CBU. And they're visiting blues with the white trim. Eman, Oloja Pokey, going down low. Kicks it back out to Brandon Averett, hesitation. Drives in the lane, kicks back out to Isaiah White. White drives, puts up a floater, and that rebound is no good. Starting lineups on the floor for the Lancers. Milan Aqua, Brandon Boyd, Farron Flavors Jr., Parag, and Davis for Utah Valley. White, Washington, Alojapoki, Averitt, and Jardine. Brandon Boyd pulls up with a jumper. That one is no good, rims off. Here comes Brandon Averitt. Aver past the timeline for the Wolverines. Comes off a screen from E-Man Alojaboki. TJ Washington pulls it back. Now Cassin Jardine. Washington with eight on the shot clock. Seven. Kicks it back to Jardine. Wide open three-pointer. And that one rims off the edge as well. Aqua gets called for a carry. 
is Utah Valley's first home game in, in a couple weeks. Utah Valley going on the road last week, falling to CSU Bakersfield in California, 57-58 in overtime, and then going down to Phoenix just on Saturday, taking down the Lopes, 73-69, first time they've done that since 2014. T.J. Washington's pass gets intercepted. Here comes Hawk with leading the charge. Brandon Boyd on the outside gives it back down inside for Davis. Davis doing work in the post with the left hand. Gets the shooter's touch. And the first points of the game belong to the Lancers. Lancers so far in the whack. Tied for second place with CSU Bakersfield behind the undefeated Aggies from New Mexico State. Eman Alojapoki rises to save that pass. And he gets a jump shot of his own. It's all tied up two apiece. There are games, and then there are other games that have a little bit of a different feel. And you, with everything that's been going on in the basketball world all over the globe, with the loss of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and those with him in the helicopter crash over the weekend, a moment of silence was given before the game today with Coach Madsen, a little bit of emotional. His former teammate, one of his really close friends, and Kobe Bryant. This past week in practice, he's had heart-to-hearts with his team. You have to feel that his team is a little bit extra motivated to try and get a W for their coach out here tonight. Brandon Boyd running the break. Misses the layup. Ball all over the floor. Avert comes away with it after it's kicked by CSU. Excuse me, CBU. Lots of nicknames in this conference. The Lancers from California Baptist goes out of play. Lancers on top, 4-2 to two early on here in the first period. Brandon Averitt. Spin move now from Averitt. Kicks it back out. T.J. Washington with a deep three. Tried to bank that one. This. Brandon Boyd, pass the timeline for the Lancers. In the corner, wide open look for CBU. That one's no good. Avert with the rebound. Has a little bit more speed going down coast to coast. Up and in for Brandon Averitt. Preseason player of the year candidate, Milan Aqua. Brandon Boyd now. Dejon Davis down low. Davis. Blocked by Eman Alojapoki. But falls right back into the hands of Perog. Perog puts it up and in. Eman Alojapoki leading the whack. Three block per game average. Just an absolute beast. Helping Utah Valley rank sixth nationally in blocks. Averitt zigzags his way. Gets met with some force by Perog on the baseline. That'll be Perog's first. That'll take us to a media timeout. First media timeout. Lancers on top of the Wolverines. 6 to 4. 15.30 left in the first half. We'll take a break and be right back on the WAC Digital Network. Inspired by strong female athletes, female coaches women in power. They just really taught me how to be a leader and inspired me to take on leadership roles. It's important to inspire the next generation because it's important to give kids someone to look up to. You know, it's important to have these mentors. I would say to someone who wants to play sports at the D1 level, you gotta be good in the community, good in the classroom, and to show people that sports do not define you. Six to four, Lancers on top of the Wolverines. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Wednesday evening on the WAC Digital Network, KSL streaming app, YouTube as well. Again, we mentioned Utah Valley. This is their only game of the week. 
and then they'll have significant time before their next one, their next game, not until next Saturday, February 8th, as they host the Red Hawks of Seattle U. Just before that last play, T.J. Washington was driving, got fouled by Zach Perog. So it'll be Wolverine basketball underneath their own hoop. 20 seconds on the clock as Cash and Jardine gets it. Wolverines again trying to build off that momentum from last Saturday's victory in the desert. Here's Brandon Avery. Avery to his left, pull-up jumper. That one comes off to the side. Rebounded by the Lancers and Dejon Davis. Gives away to Milan Aqua. Aqua blows past Brandon Avery. Kicks it back out. Wide open look from the top of the key. Splash down. Perfect from Fair and Flavor Jr. 9-4. Lancers on top. Isaiah White down low. Basket does not count. Eman Lojapoki will go to the line to shoot. And they're going to call that foul. Uh, Dejan Davis. That'll be his first personal. J.J. Overton checks in for the Wolverines. T.J. Washington takes the seat. Lojapoki. To Isaiah White. Brandon Aver gets some contact off of Milan Aqua with top of the key. For those who are not familiar with this California Baptist University school, this team is very athletic, very much improved. And since they made the jump to Division I, they do have a probation time period where they won't be able to qualify for the postseason tournament. But if they were eligible this year, they would be some betting odds in Vegas that they would be able to take the crown. Brandon Avert lets it fly. This one no good. Isaiah White flies in from behind, gets the rebound, but steps out of play. Aqua averaging 18 points a game for CBU. Pull up jumper inside the perimeter. Long two pointer, and that's good. Aqua so smooth wearing that zero. Reminds me of Gilbert Arenas from back in the day. Cass and Jardine trying to post up, drives baseline, spin move, kicks it back out to Brandon Averett. Averett, stutter step, gets it back to Jardine in the corner. Jardine crossover between the legs. Nine on the clock for Averett. Averett got to make a move. Drives in the key. Splits three defenders. Circus shot. Rims in and out. I, rebounded by Isaiah White. Puts it up and in. Count it. Foul. Bucket Isaiah White. That foul is going to go on fair and flavors. Isaiah White to the line for an opportunity to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. And he misses off the side. Isaiah White leading all Wolverine scores this year, averaging 14 points per game. Aqua to his right. Throws it up off the glass. And they're going to call a jump ball. And possession will stay in Lancers. Lancer ball, 13 on the clock. Aqua to inbound. Aqua looking for an outlet, just barely gets it off. Aqua in the corner with the man in his face. That one comes up short. J.G. Overton with the rebound. Brandon Averett looking for some help. Nice bounce pass. 
great Brandon Morley. Couldn't get it to fall. That one went as far in the hoop as he possibly could have it before it popped right back out. Here comes Aqua again. Lancers with 11-6 lead. Aqua driving baseline and gets a foul against Brandon Avery. Some more big bodies checking back in as Barag, the redshirt senior, 6'11", 245. Provides some extra beef for the Lancers in the key. And Aqua finds his target in Parag. Parag calling for it, gets it right back. Blocked by TJ, excuse me, Trey Woodbury. Off of Utah Valley, so Aqua again will inbound. Aqua having some trouble the last three times he's trying to inbound the ball. Gets it to Quall. Aqua with nine on the clock. Averett tried to pull the chair from underneath him. Aqua fell. They're going to call a foul on Brandon Averett. Brandon Averett pleading his case. Same with Coach Madsen and the rest of his team. As here comes Ege Hobza with the headband. Armstrong to Aqua. Aqua drives, and there's an offensive call, a push off against Aqua. Still 6-11 in favor of the Lancers. Some ugly basketball the last couple of minutes. Utah Valley looking for an offensive spark here. Ege Havza had a significant stretch where he had two three-pointers on Saturday in Phoenix right before the end of the first half, and it was after those two three-pointers that he made. The Wolverines never looked back because they didn't give up the lead until the final buzzer. Overton down low to big Brandon Morley. Count it, and one for the big fella. Brandon Boy, the guilty party. Brandon Boy really caught no man's land there. Six foot one guard trying to go up against a seven footer just got gobbled up. Wrong place, wrong time, but Brandon Morley put it up and in. And Morley makes the free throw to complete the three point play. Wolverines trail by two, nine to 11. Brandon Boyd, Idaho State transfer, redshirt senior. Good closeout defense here, smothering defense by Utah Valley. And an offensive foul called against Perog. Zach Perog, that's his second personal foul. That'll take us to our under 12 media timeout. The Wolverines coming back, only down by two. They trail 9 to 11 at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent. Glad you're okay, Sarah. We'll take care of everything. And the company that stands behind them. Thanks so much for your help. No problem. Auto Owners Insurance. Neil Dastrup Insurance, your local independent auto owners insurance agency, supports UVU Athletics. Welcome back to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network, KSL streaming app, YouTube as well. Utah Valley Wolverines trail the Lancers of California Baptist 9-11 right now. 
Leading scorers for California Baptist, Dejon Davis with four. Zach Barag, Milan Aqua, both with two. And Farron Flavors with three for Utah Valley. Eman Alojapoki with two. Isaiah White with two. Brandon Abert with two. And Brandon Morley with three. Isaiah White at the line in a one and one situation. Isaiah White, that's two missed free throws for him. Lancers need to get something going on offense. Haven't scored in the last two and a half minutes. 0 for 4. Trey Woodbury going against Dejon Davis. Dejon Davis misses. Woodbury with the rebound. Here comes Ege Havza. Havza cross court. J.J. Overton. Couldn't have asked for a better lane to lay it up. And then J.J. gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar on the other side. His first personal foul. Lancers with a two-point lead. Davis to Boyd. Boyd puts up a three-pointer. That one no good. Tips into the hands of the Lancers still. Quoll. And they're going to call a foul against Utah Valley, against Trey Woodbury. Got a Utah Valley Big 12 wrestling match tomorrow, and Trey Woodbury trying out a little with with his little chicken wing action on that defensive side. So 20 seconds on the shot clock for the Lancers. They inbound. Armstrong gets the ball in quickly, receives it right back. Armstrong looking for help. Now Boyd's going to call out of play. Boyd from the free throw line, pull up jumper, and that's pretty. Boyd doubles the lead now. For the Lancers, 13 to 9. TJ Washington at the scores table. Going to come in for Utah Valley next available moment. Wolverines looking for some offense. Overton, pull up jumper just inside the arc. That's good. If you can get JJ Overton cooking early, it's a great sign for the Wolverines. 13-11, Lancer ball. They go down low. Morrison fumbling the ball on the key. Whistle is called. Foul against Isaiah White. That'll be his first personal. And T.J. Washington coming in for Isaiah White. Coach Matson going with a smaller, quicker lineup. With Ege Havza and T.J. Washington on the court. Boyd. Puts up a prayer. That one no good. Again, Woodbury with another rebound. Pushing it up court. Finds, trying to find J.J. Overton. So another turnover in a costly moment for Utah Valley. They could have tied or tried to retake the lead. Utah Valley's fourth turnover so far in the first half. Quoll with a nice teardrop floater in the key. 15 to 11, Lancers on top. Hobza. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds before he drew the contact. And Coach Matson's going to call a timeout. Quick 30-second timeout for the Wolverines. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back here in Orem, Utah after this. 
Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. For over nine decades, our family has the reputation of being focused on price, selection, and service. This decade is no different. Right now, get 0% financing for 72 months on a new Santa Fe or purchase a new Tucson for just $19,990. you got to come and see us in Murdoch Hyundai. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Tyson. For over nine decades, our family has the reputation of being focused on price, selection, and service. This new decade is no different. Right now, take up to $10,000 off the new Silverado All-Star Edition. You've got to come and see us at Murdoch Chevrolet. Lancer basketball. Lancer lead as well, 15 to 11 to be exact. Brandon Boyd, two years ago, played on this court against Utah Valley. Different uniform. Back then it was a Bengal uniform. From Idaho State. Boyd sees himself wide open, lets it fly. That one rims out. And J.J. Overton comes away with the rebound for the Wolverines. And Overton's pass gets intercepted right back by Brandon Boyd. Fifth turnover now for the Wolverines. Boyd comes off the screen. Boyd gets a nice layup after the acceleration in the key. And Brandon Boyd, who's averaging about 12 points per game, has had a fantastic second-chance opportunity to play here for the Lancers. He's had a wonderful redshirt se senior season so far. Washington now with nine on the shot clock. Pulls it back, gives it to Trey Woodbury. With five, four, Woodbury drives, puts it up off the glass, no good. And Brandon Boy gets called for the carry. And another turnover there. This time, Lancers give it away. Utah Valley right now has not scored the last two minutes. They've had three turnovers in the last two minutes as well. Trail by six. About 8.33 left to play in the first half. Woodbury inbounds to Washington. Overton, Woodbury, Hobza, Jardine. Woodbury again, Woodbury finds a crease. That one comes up short. Brandon Boyd there with a rebound. Boyd again coming off the screen. Thought about it. Fouls called in the paint. Davis' shot is no good. And again, Trey Woodbury, the guilty party. That'll be his second personal foul. The Lancers' opportunity for some free points when we return on the WAC Digital Network. Wolverines trail 17-11 to to the Lancers of CBU. You got one of those insurance apps too? You know how this thing works? No, sorry. Not an app, it's my agent. In this moment. No, I'm fine, thanks. It's good to know you have a trusted, independent auto owner's insurance agent who's there when you need them. Great. Man, I gotta get one of those. Auto owner's insurance. The no problem people. Neil Dastrup Insurance, your local independent auto owner's insurance agency, supports UVU Athletics. Lancers on top, 17-11 to over the Wolverines of Utah Valley on this Wednesday evening in Orm, Utah. About 40 minutes, 45 minutes south of Salt Lake City, if you're not familiar with the area, close to Provo. Lancers out of Riverside in Southern California, coming up after a tough loss on Saturday against Kansas City. Fell into the ruse, 67-57. Baron Flavors led that on Saturday. 
Game high, 19 points, 6 of 15 from the floor. He was 3 of 8 from beyond the arc as well. And Farron Flavors is adding his flavor to his team tonight, contributing so far 3 points. But right now his team with 17 has the lead on top of Utah Valley on their home court. Dejon Davis misses his first free throw. This game marks the exact halfway point of the Western Athletic Conference season as Davis makes that second free throw. A lot of interesting things can happen over the next month and a half or so before WAC Vegas. T.J. Washington finds a crease, lays it up and in. And that ends Utah Valley's scoring drought in about three minutes. Wolverines now trail by five. Less than eight to go in the first period. Boyd coming off of the screen, goes baseline, pulls it back. Looking for help down low again. Davis doing work. And so far, Davis, the beast, calling for the ball. The Lancers just feeding him right now. Seven points, three of five from the floor. Washington. Little razzle-dazzle. That one trickles out of play off of CBU. Iggy Havza steps into a three-pointer. That's what he does best. Three. Coach Manson saying of Iggy Havza, he can just flat out play the game. And Utah Valley's going to need more of that for Iggy Havza to stay in this one. 16 to 20, Wolverines trail by four. Big fellow calling for it. Said clears out. Brandon Boyd, beautiful athletic layup. Tack on two more for Boyd. Six points. T.J. Washington trying to answer. His shot gets blocked. Isaiah White with the ball. That one slapped out of play by Flavors. Washington. Isaiah White. White on the floor. Drives in the key. An errant pass. Misses Kaz and Jardine. And another turnover for the Wolverines. Twenty-two sixteen, Lancers on top. Dejon Davis going against Kazan Jardine. Jardine keeping his feet on the ground, but Davis elevates and puts it through. Twenty-four sixteen, Dejon Davis right now just cannot be stopped. Nine points, senior forward from Oaktown. Isaiah White looking for some help. Ten on the shot clock now with T.J. Washington. Washington clearing out. He signifies. Five on the shot clock. Washington going ISO. Draws the contact. Throws it up. Doesn't hit rim. And they're going to say it was last touched off of CBU. But a shot clock violation gives it back to the Lancers. And Eman Alojapoki, the Energizer Bunny, will come in. as well as Brandon Avery. The big fella, Dejon Davis, steps off, gets a well-deserved break and rest. And Glenn Morrison now checking back in. Brandon Boyd drives. Gets met and dispossessed by J.J. Overton. Overton's got numbers. Gives way to Isaiah White. Isaiah White bobbles it. Still gets it right back. Puts it up and in for a layup. 18 to 24. We have not seen Milan Aquin. Probably about five, six minutes. Flavors pull up jumper. That one's no good. Imanoloja Pokey tried to get it. They're going to say his last touched off of CBU. So 
So five minutes left here in the first half. Wolverines trail 18-24. Avery to J.J. Overton. E-man to Lojapoki. Avery, Lojapoki, and that's high percentage from E-man. Couple of quick baskets back to back. That's just what Utah Valley needed. You can start to feel a little bit more rhythm offensively for the Wolverines. They only trail by four. Nice pull up jumper. That one missed. Way too strong. Brandon Averett pushes it up to J.J. Overton. Too strong for Averett. And Overton has himself an armful of cheerleaders helping to make a stop. So another turnover by the Wolverines. Again, they just if they just tweak the hinges just a little bit, that's all they need. 4.20 left to play in the first period. Big fella checking back in. That was a quick rest from Davis. And a rebound put back up and in. Foul call. And one opportunity for the Lancers. Referees are going to talk it over, however, to, to discuss. Basket does count. A whistle was called, but they're going to say that his own teammate ran into him and caused the foul. So the basket is going to count. Even the, the other officials were a little confused on that one. So Utah Valley trails 26-20 instead of a potential 27-20. Ege Havza, Emanaloja Pokey. Brandon Averett. Averett now with 10 on the shot clock. Makes a move, drives in the key, creates a space. Doesn't get the shooter's touch. Lancers with Quoll coming up with a head full of steam. Pulls it back. Boyd, top of the key, gives away to Flavors. Back to Boyd. Quoll. Boyd, down low. Davis going against the low Jopoki. Davis pull-up jumper. Whew. Davis playing like a man possessed right now. 11 points, 5 of 8. He's doing it all over the court for the Lancers. Three minutes left to play in the first half. 20 to 28, Lancers on top. Averett drives. Whistle called. And they're going to say a hand check foul against Bull Quoll. So it'll be Wolverine basketball when we return. Media timeout under four. Here in Orem, Utah, 2028 Wolverines Trail. The latest from KSO 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. You only need to answer one question. Will you accept the challenge to become? It doesn't matter your situation in life no matter your interest. Whether your first choice or second chance. There's a place for you. Place for you. Place for you at UVU. Place to engage, to rise, to succeed. To become. When you know before you go how the latest breaking news, traffic, and weather will affect you, that equals a good morning. Wake up with the new specialists on KSL Today, weekdays from 4.30 to 7. Lancers 28, Wolverines 20 with 3.04 left to play in the first half. Right now, Utah Valley just shooting 37.5% from the floor. Lancers 46.5% from the floor. Right now, leading scorer, game high and team high, Dejon Davis for CBU, just killing everybody. 11 points, 5 of 8 from the floor. Right behind a Brandon Boyd with 6 points and a handful of teammates for the Lancers with 2. Reed Nottage, Bull Quo, Zach Paranga, Milan Aqua, all with 2. 
And Farron Flavor Jr. with three. Aqua only playing seven and a half minutes so far in that first half, still not on the floor. Not sure if that's a, an injury or a coach's decision. We'll try and see if we can find out some information for you on that one. But Brandon Averitt is at the line in one and one situation, and he makes the first. Three points now for Averitt. And B.A. makes two. Three minutes exactly left to play. 22-28 Wolverines trail by six. Brandon Boyd taking two defenders with him. Cross-court pass now. Flavors with the man in his face. Flavors sprinkling that three from distance. Twenty-two, thirty-one. T.J. Washington, Kaz, and Jardine set to check in for the Wolverines. J.G. Overton, mid-range jumper, found himself in an awkward position. Flavors again, feeling it. Thirty-one flavors, killing it from the perimeter so far. Back-to-back -back three pointers extend the lead to the largest. For the Lancers of the evening, 34-22. J.J. Overton pulls it back out, gives to Isaiah White. He draws the contact in the key. Basket does not count. And they're going to call a foul against the Lancers. Fair and Flavors, the man with the red hot hands. A.G. Hobza, Brandon Averitt check out. T.J. Washington checks back in. T Trey Woodbury checks back in. J.J. Overton steps off. And Kaz and Jardine comes in as well. Still no Milan Aqua. Red! Isaiah White, third missed free throw. Thirty-four twenty-two, Lancers on top of the Wolverines. It's been a six-zero run for the Lancers. Make that an eight-zero run in the last minute and a half. Isaiah White with the three-pointer. Hey, gets the bank, gets the bounce and the kiss off the glass. Brandon Boyd methodically with the ball. Flavors falls over, referee no call, gets back up. Boyd waves off the screen, now Armstrong with eight on the clock, drives in the key, gives it to the big fella, Davis in trouble. Isaiah White puts a hand on it, and Davis just loses it out of play. Excuse me, 57 seconds left, 24-36. Morrison checks back in for Davis. Davis takes a break. T.J. Washington. Washington drives, pump fake, draws the contact, no foul call, misses the shot. Still no foul call. Brandon Boyd has it, looks over to his coach. Going to take his time, bringing it up the court. 11-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Boyd taking his time. 10 on the clock, pulls it back to Flavors. Flavors drives, misses, whistle called on the floor and they're going to call this one on Kaz and Jardine that'll be his first personal foul
13 and a half seconds left in the first half. Lancers at the free throw line. Flavors takes a seat. Cole checks in. And Morrison at the charity stripe. Glenn Morrison, the sophomore center. Canberra, Straya. One of a handful of four of them on the team for Lancers. And he makes both free throws. That extends the lead now 24 38 for the Lancers. Nine seconds left in the first half. Can the Wolverines find a, a high note to go out on? Four seconds, three seconds. Trey Woodbury loses the ball. Isaiah White can't put it up, and that's how the first half is going to come to a close. 24-38, the Wolverines trail by 14 at the break. Lancers being led by their big fella, Dejon Davis, with 11 points. Milan Aqua. Only saw seven minutes of action in that first half. Coaches saw some strategy in, in resting him. We'll take a we'll take a quick halftime break, process that first half, and get ready for the second half. Again, your halftime score: 38-24, Lancers on top of the Wolverines from the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. Smooth sailing. More traffic. Great looking ahead. More weather. New details are emerging. More breaking news. Whenever, wherever. That's good news. More ways to know before you go. You're going to like the morning commute. On KSL Today. Weekday mornings on KSL 5. If we can see things for what they are. If we can see what they could be. If the plastic we use... We never throw away. It's the end of one thing. Could be the beginning of the next. If we know that less can create more. If we can return, we reciprocate, we regenerate. If we are here for others. If we can work as a team. All we have to do is connect, and the world opens up. The future is about giving back. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access ready to go yeah. and highlights for every single championship stay in the game all season long with ncaa.com and the ncaa sports app <laughs> Thinking of buying a home? Think bigger. Because with UCCU's low interest rates and low mortgage insurance rates, you could qualify for more house with the same payment you could get from other local lenders. A mortgage with UCCU gives you more purchase power. That means more money you can put into your home or back into your pocket. To learn more, visit uccu.com forward slash more house or stop by any UCCU branch today. More house, same payment. Only at UCCU. Inspiring smart mortgage decisions. What's the difference between buying from Murdoch and buying from somebody else? In a word, confidence. 
You'll love our price match guarantee, our five-day exchange policy, and don't forget car washes and safety inspections for life. If you need a new vehicle, consider Murdoch Chevrolet. I promise you'll love it. find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Get the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? The latest from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. inspired by strong female athletes, female coaches, women in power. They just really taught me how to be a leader and inspired me to take on leadership roles. It's important to inspire the next generation because it's important to give kids someone to look up to. You know, it's important to have these mentors. I would say to someone who wants to play sports at the D1 level, you've got to be good in the community, good in the classroom, and to show people that sports do not define you. Experienced? Check. Accurate? Check. The team more Utahns trust to stay safe from winter weather surprises? Check, 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 and check. Know before you go. Check with the KSL 5 weather specialists. What's the difference between buying from Murdoch and buying from somebody else? In a word, confidence. You'll love our price match guarantee, our five-day exchange policy, and don't forget car washes and safety inspections for life. If you need a new vehicle, consider Murdoch Hyundai. I promise you'll love it. The path to true success is achieved through determination. With the goal! Determination to grow, to push through, and to finish. Utah Valley student athletes strive for these qualities. Out of here! UVU student athletes need your support from the community, their peers, and their families to achieve this growth and success in life. Cooper has an opportunity laid down, and there it is! A dive in the third vein. Support from donors like you makes a significant impact on the lives of more than 370 Wolverine student athletes. The General Athletic Scholarship Fund will help our student athletes be successful in the classroom, on the field, and in life. Please support our student athletes with a personal donation and watch these men and women grow now and in the future.
Hello again, everybody. Thank you for coming here on the Wyatt Digital Network tonight. Utah Valley trails at the half to the Lancers, 38 to 24. As you can see by my sweatshirt here, I am uh, supporting one of my childhood idols and an icon that I looked up to in Kobe Bryant growing up in Southern California. I was a Laker fan before Kobe got there, and when they were traded Vlade Divac way back in the day, I was worried that that would hurt our Lakers' chances back in the day when I was six and a half of, lo of winning a title. And here we are 20-plus years later, and uh, Kobe's legacy continues to live on and will live on forever. And uh, one of my favorite Kobe moments came right here with head coach Mark Madsen. This is in. Uh, this is after the the second championship of the three peak Coach Madsen's first, and this is the moment that many of you might know of Coach Madsen when he busted out the famous Mad Dog dance. Legendary announcer Chick Hearn had to say, "Okay, Mad Dog, calm down." But uh, that's one of my favorite memories of all time, and uh, seeing seeing Coach Madsen be so happy and be a part of those teams that I loved uh, with Kobe, a player that I loved, and I shared my emotion with everybody throughout the world, especially my Southern California Laker brothers and sisters and uh, we will forever miss you Kobe Black Mamba lives on forever and the Wolverines can use a little bit of Mamba mentality here tonight to start off this second half again they trail 24 to 38 and on the other side you have to give credit where credit is due to the Lancers of California Baptist University and they came out tough in that first half and they really only played Milan Aqua eight minutes, less than eight minutes, because they saw some matchups, and they're like, you know what? If this is how it's going to be without him on the floor, then we're just going to continue to exploit that. As Kazan Jardine misses a layup to start this second half, the big man for the Lancers was Dejon Davis in that first half, five of eight from the floor with 11 points. On the other side, for the Wolverines, Isaiah White with six points, leading scorer for the Wolverines. Farron Flavors with nine points as well for the Lancers. M Milan Aqua with the ball. Aqua only has two points on the evening, one for three from the floor. Brandon Boyd was taken over as the Capitano in uh, Aqua's absence, but looks like... Things starting off a little shaky here for the Lancers in the first 50 seconds of the second half. T.J. Washington. Now Brandon Averitt. Back to Washington. Washington, deep three-pointer. That one, no good. Big, huge rebound there by Dejon Davis. Big wingspan gobbling that one up. Here comes Milan Aqua on the other side. Puts it down low. Zach Parag. Parag going up against Iman Olojapoki. Olojapoki timed it, got up in the air, but Parag got the shooter's touch and continued to add on to that Utah, excuse me, Lancer lead. 40 points now for the Lancers. Brandon Averett. Jardine. TJ Washington. Olojapoki. Isaiah White. White on the floor, drives, creates the contact, count it! Gets the whistle. And the call. And that foul will go against the Lancers, Zach Perog. That's his third personal foul. Isaiah White was 0 for 3 in that first half from the free throw line. But he finishes off the three-point play, making it at 25%, one for four. Seven total points now for Isaiah White, who's also, like me, a Southern Californian, grown up, rooting for the Lakers. Isaiah White, the pride of Rancho Cucamonga. From Milan Aqua. Here's T.J. Washington and Isaiah White pushing it up the court now with Brandon Avery. Averitt drives, and he gets it to fall. B.A. with the bucket, 29-40. Coach Madsen's going to call a timeout. Try and build on this momentum offensively here for the Wolverines. And we'll take a break as well. We'll be right back after a couple seconds in Orm, Utah, on the WAC Digital Network. 
Thinking of buying a home? Think bigger. Because with UCCU's low interest rates and low mortgage insurance rates, you could qualify for more house with the same payment you could get from other local lenders. A mortgage with UCCU gives you more purchase power. That means more money you can put into your home or back into your pocket. To learn more, visit uccu.com forward slash morehouse or stop by any UCCU branch today. Morehouse, same payment. Only at UCCU. Inspiring smart mortgage decisions. When you know before you go how the latest breaking news, traffic, and weather will affect you, that equals a good morning. Wake up with the news specialists on KSL Today, weekdays from 4.30 to 7. Utah Valley Wolverines trail right now. The Lancers of California Baptist, 40 to 29. About 18 minutes left here in regulation. Wolverines trying to climb back in this one. Back-to-back -back buckets for the Wolverines. Four straight points in the last minute and a half. Coach Matson and his crew, again, trying to capitalize, use that momentum that they had off of last Saturday's victory in the desert. First time since 2014, the Wolverines victorious over the lopes of Grand Canyon, 73 to 69. And a foul is going to be called against Kazan Jardine. And that'll be Kazan Jardine's second personal foul. So Milan Aqua will inbound from underneath his own hoop with 22 seconds on the clock. Aqua inbounds, Dejan Davis. Been quiet so far early on in the second half. Puts it on the floor, stumbles a bit. Aqua. Nine on the shot clock for Aqua. Gives it back down to Dejan Davis. Davis puts it down on the floor. Baby sky hook. No good. TJ Washington for Utah Valley. Pushes it up. Brandon Abert finds a crease. Draws a foul. And now some more life from this Utah Valley hometown crowd here. Brandon Averitt at the free throw line. Makes his first. Averitt so far three of three from the charity stripe tonight. Seven total points. Two of six from the floor. And Averitt stays perfect. Four of four from the charity strike. Eight total points now for Brandon Averitt. He's one point shy of tying Isaiah White for a team high nine points tonight. And the Wolverines trim that Lancer lead to single digits with nine. 31 40, Lancer's on top. Flavors, he was hot early, misses. Isaiah White with the rebound. Pushes it up to Brandon Averett. Averett in the corner. Averett going against Aqua in traffic, and they're going to call travel against Brandon Averett. Aqua bringing it up the court for the Lancers. Utah Valley in that first half only had five points off turnovers, and Milan Aqua misses. Lancers had 12 points off of Utah Valley turnovers. D.J. Washington to Brandon Averett. Averett with the step back in rhythm. That one's no good. Cassie Jardine, one-handed rebound, pushes it all the way back out to T.J. Washington. Beautiful play. Got Cassie Jardine. Washington gives it away to Isaiah White. Fantastic play from the Wolverines all around there. Utah Valley is a completely different team when they're out in transition. 
Transition buckets are huge for this ball club. Dejon Davis, he has that shot altered by Iman Alojapoki. Alojapoki, in my opinion, whack defensive player of the year so far. Cass and Jardine, Wolverines trailing by seven. Averett on the floor, Averett drives, does not get the foul call somehow, but he puts it up and in nonetheless. Wolverines on an 11-0 run over the last three minutes. 35-40. Kaz and Jardine skies up for another rebound. T.J. Washington. Isaiah White. Isaiah White spin moves. Count it! Isaiah White draws the foul. run over the last three minutes. Timeout on the floor. Utah Valley only down by three. This is getting good. This is WAC basketball. This is the WAC Digital Network. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. What's the difference between buying from Murdoch and buying from somebody else? In a word, confidence. You'll love our price match guarantee, our five-day exchange policy, and don't forget car washes and safety inspections for life. If you need a new vehicle, consider Murdoch Chevrolet. I promise you'll love it. Utah Valley climbing back in this one here in Orem, Utah. 37-40 is the score right now. At the break, Utah Valley was shooting 35% from the floor. So far here in the second half, 63%. For the Lancers of California Baptist in the first half, they shot 50%. So far here in the second half, 14%. Yes, 14. Even though they are still on top by three, Isaiah White has exploded over the last three minutes, as well as Brandon Averett. 13 points for Isaiah White. Brandon Averett now with 10. Utah Valley now 12 total team assists. CBU only has six. Right before we went to break, Isaiah White got fouled. Has an opportunity to finish off the three-point play. Get an and one. And trim that Lancer lead down to just two. The largest lead for CBU so far, 16 points. Wolverines again on a 13-0 run over the last three minutes. Isaiah White comes up just a bit short. Kazan Jardine puts a hand on it. Isaiah White, last touched off of CBU. Isaiah White will inbound the ball. So 20 on the shot clock. And a completely renewed energy here at the UCCU Center. Kazan Jardine, big size mismatch going again against Brandon Boyd. Kazan Jardine, baby sky hook, that's good. 39-40, Wolverines only trail by one. 15-0 run by the Wolverines over the last three and a half minutes. And the Lancers get bailed out with a whistle. Isaiah White, his second personal foul. Parag looking for some help. Flavors. 
Flavors again. 10 on the shot clock. Flavors comes off a of screen. Looking for some help. T.J. Washington got a hand on three, two. Oh, Flavors gets the bank shot right as the door closes. 39-42, Wolverines trail by three. Brandon Averett. Kaz and Jardine, now T.J. Washington. Again, another mismatch. Kaz and Jardine trying to go to work against Boyd. Kicks back out to T.J. Washington. Eight on the shot clock. Washington drives, kicks it back out. Isaiah White, corner three-pointer. That one no good. And Isaiah White comes in, and the foul is going to be called either on him or they're going to give it to Kaz and Jardine instead. So that's Kaz and Jardine's third personal. And that's going to bring in Brandon Morley and J.J. Overton for Eman Alojapoki and Kaz and Jardine. Our friend Kyle McDonald from WackHoopsDigest.com. Again, if you listen to the podcast each week, he has some fantastic stuff. But one of his big gripes for this Utah Valley team that I share and many have shared is Dejon Davis gets a foul called against Brandon Averett is how different and amazing Utah Valley is when they get out in transition. And we saw that 15-0 run was filled with transition points for the Wolverines. So hopefully the Wolverines can continue to keep their eye on that going forward. Dejon Davis at the free throw line. Davis misses the first free throw. Both he and Flavors tied with the team high, 11 points so far. Dejon Davis now one for three from the free throw line so far in the evening. And the fans want him to miss another one because that means free Culver's ice cream for him. Fans make some noise, but he silences them. 43-39, Lancers on top, 13.50 left to play. J.J. Overton off of a screen, gives it to the Brandon Morley. T.J. Washington back to Trey Woodbury. Brandon Averett. Averett drives, stops, pops. That one rims off, double rim. Brandon Boyd trying to slow things down. And an errant pass somehow was able to get, make its way to Flavors. Davis, he's going to pull it from the elbow. That one no good. T.J. Washington with the rebound for the Wolverines. Washington trying to get the ball up court. Instead, keeps it himself. Kid way to Trey Woodbury. And Woodbury draws the foul. Zach Perog with the fourth personal foul. He's probably going to go and spend some time on the bench. And it looks like that is what will happen here. Rick Croy. After Trey Woodbury makes his free throw, which he does. Checks in Armstrong for Perog. 40 to 43, Ege Hobza checking in as well. Ege Hobza coming in for Brandon Averett. And Woodbury makes both free throws. One possession game, 41-43, Wolverines trail by two. Lancers have made only one basket out of their last eight attempts over the last three minutes. Armstrong. Boyd now with it, nine on the shot clock. Flavors in the corner. That one no good. Two. Teammates fighting for the same ball. Dejon Davis puts it up and in. T.J. Washington. Trey Woodbury now. 41-45, 12-30 left to play. Eggie Hamza for the Wolverines. Cross court to T.J. Washington. J.J. Overton comes to his left, drives in the key, kicks it back out wide open. Trey Woodbury, yes! 44-45. Wolverines on the trail by one. Brandon Boyd, the Flavors. 
Back to Boyd. Armstrong chucks up a three of his own. That one's no good. T.J. Washington again with the rebound for the Wolverines. Third rebound for Washington. And they're going to call an offensive foul on T.J. Washington. Looks like Washington lost his footing, fell into his defender. And that's the fifth Wolverine team foul. And first personal foul for T.J. Washington. Wolverines trail by one, however, under 12 media timeout. This is getting good, folks. We'll take a quick break. Come right back with us from Orem, Utah, the WAC Digital. Looking to spend that birthday money, Tyler? I'm just not sure which one to get. Well, they are both pretty cool. But saving some of that money would be pretty cool, too. Yep. When's the right age to teach your children how to save and spend money wisely? Right now. With the Be Money Smart program only at Utah Community Credit Union. Inspiring smart decisions. The award-winning championship Utah Valley University dance team serenading the hometown crowd who has seen the Wolverines come all the way back from being down by 16 to only being down by one, less than 12 to play in regulation here. Dejon Davis, team high and game high, 14 points for the Lancers, shooting 50% from the floor, 6 of 12 to be exact, and 2 of 4 from the free throw line. Farron Flavors Jr. 11 points on 4 of 10 from the floor for the Lancers. Brandon Boyd with 6. Zach Parag with 4. Milan Aqua, Reed Nottage, Bull Quoll, Glenn Morrison, and Trey Armstrong all with 2 points. Isaiah White with 13. Brandon Averett with 10. Trey Woodbury with 5. And a handful of players with 2 or 3 points apiece. CBU, two of their last 11. A.G. Hobson trying to strip Davis from behind. Armstrong to Boyd now. Boyd drives and penetrates the key with eight on the clock. Blocked by Brandon Morley. Davis can't get it, but he puts it right back up and in. Davis's bucket got that Lancer bench up on their feet. Rick Croy loving it. 47-44, 11-21 left to play. Trey Woodbury. Now T.J. Washington. Trey Woodbury on the floor, drives. Finger roll! Beautiful play by Trey Woodbury. Attacks the rack. 46-47. Big deep three from Brandon Boyd. What an answer from 15. 46-50. Ege Havza, now Trey Woodbury. Woodbury going to keep it himself, drive, reverse layup. Absolutely. 48-50, Trey Woodbury starting to wake up here. Trey Woodbury, four straight points for the Wolverines, nine total. 48-50. Woodbury now trying to play defense. And what Morley thought was a block, they're going to call a foul on Trey Woodbury. That'll be his third personal foul. Wolverines have made seven of their last nine. Nottage at the free throw line. And he misses, hits the back iron. Nottage two points on the evening. One for two from the floor. And he makes the second. 
Quill checks in for the Lancers for Nottage. Brandon Aver checks in for T.J. Washington for the Wolverines. Lancers on top, 51-48. Ten minutes left to play in this one. Averitt with Milan Aqua back in. Brandon Averitt, Trey Woodbury, who's had the hot hand. Instead, J.J. Overton now. Overton with 10 on the shot clock. Makes a move for the Wolverines. Now dances around seven. Up and under. Put back by the big fella. Brandon Morley in the right place at the right time. 50-51. to 51. Lancer still on top by one. 9.48 left to play. Aqua with four white shirts around him. Armstrong now. Armstrong using that left arm and a shoulder. Still no call. Gets the bucket to fall. And Coach Rick Croy going to call a timeout. And the Boo Birds coming out here. The New York City applause. Coach Madsen trying to find some explanation here. 53-50, the Lancers on top nonetheless, and we'll stay here. Man, the energy in this place has picked up in the last five minutes. Still got 9.30 left to play. See how Utah Valley and the Wolverines respond. Davis continuing to add to that point total, leading all scores. Dejon Davis, 16 points for the Lancers. 7 of 14 from the floor, 2 of 4 from the charity stripe. So the Utah Valley will inbound. Trey Woodbury to Brandon Averitt. Averitt with a lot of pace. Trying to lose himself a Milan Aqua. Now J.J. Overton with it. Averitt. Trey Woodbury steps into a deep three. That one no good. Morley trying to get the rebound. Instead came over the back against Dejon Davis. That'll be his second personal foul. And we're already shooting. And it's not only 9-10 left. Dejon Davis. Shoots one and one. Dejon Davis, season high, 20 points, and that came in November against Georgia State. And if he keeps playing like this, he'll have another season high. His career high came in 2018, 26 points versus Howard. Emana Lojapoki checking in for Brandon Morley. Davis misses off the back iron. Iggy Hobbs are there to get the rebound for the Wolverines. Lancers on top, 54 to 50 with nine minutes left to play. Trey Woodbury. Iggy Hobbs gave up the three-pointer, puts it on the floor in the key, still with it. Back to Brandon Averitt. Averitt thought about it. Ten on the shot clock for B.A. B.A. makes the move, cuts left. Back to J.J. Overton, sweet stroke for three. And that one comes up short. And Perog checks back in, walking that fine line with four fouls. Isaiah White going to check in as well in the next opportune moment. Right now, Brandon Boyd and company. Milan Aqua with Boyd in the corner. And Boyd continues to punish the Wolverines from deep. 12 points now for Brandon Boyd. Two of three from distance. 57-50. What was once a one-point game stretches now to seven in favor of the Lancers. Brandon Averett drives. 
Whistle call before the foul, and that foul is going to go against Milan Aqua. And that'll be his fourth personal foul. TJ Washington, Isaiah White check back in for the hometown. Aqua steps off. Armstrong checking back in. Wolverine still very much in this. Plenty of time left, but the Lancers have been on a 6-0 run over the last 90 seconds. Woodbury now to Averitt. Averitt. Bounce pass for TJ Washington. This was kicked out of play. That'll be an under eight media timeout. Wolverine still trail 57-50. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back on the WAC Digital Network from Orem, Utah. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. The latest from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. Fifty-seven fifty, Lancers on top of the Wolverines. 7.55 left to play in regulation. Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Wednesday evening. Thank you for joining us on KSL streaming app on YouTube as well. Right now, leading scores in the contest. Dejon Davis leading everybody with 17 points. Perfect 50% from the floor. Double-double for the big fellow with 12 rebounds as well. For Utah Valley, leading scorer Isaiah White with 13. No surprise there. Averages 14 points on the season. He's one rebound shy of a double-double with nine point uh, rebounds. Brandon Averitt, the only other Wolverine in double digits with 10 points. The Wolverines get the ball. T.J. Washington. Iman Olojapoki from the elbow. Brandon Averitt. Averitt doesn't get that to fall. And the Wolverines again who came all the way back from being down by 16 to only trail by one. See themselves trailing by seven, an opportunity to go down by as much as 10. Brandon Boyd draws the contact against Iman Olojapoki, and he will go to the line to shoot too. That's Eman Alojapoki's first personal foul. Utah Valley has not scored an offensive bucket in the last three minutes. CBU on a 6-0 run in the last two minutes. Brandon Boyd makes the first free throw. 13 points on the evening. Again, we mentioned earlier, Brandon Boyd, the redshirt senior, transfer from Idaho State. Two years ago, played against Coach Pope's Wolverines right here on this court. And he makes both. T.J. Washington gets the ball past the timeline very quickly. Wolverines trail by nine. 7.20 left to play. Woodbury gives way to Washington. Washington drives. Whistle's called. And this one will go against number 14, Brandon Boyd. That'll be his second personal. See the number 15. Referee put up the wrong number. Washington gets it to Eman Alojapoki. Trey Woodbury to TJ. TJ step back, crossover, drives, penetrates. Eman Alojapoki gets fouled in the process of shooting. And that'll be Zach per Perog's fifth and final foul of the evening. A 
I'm not exactly sure. There was no whistle blown or any timeout signified, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on here. Finally, the officials come together, blow a whistle, get everyone back in. So you man a low Japoki. Four points on the evening so far. One block. And a bunch of plays that don't show up in the box score. And he misses the first one too strong off the back iron. Iman Alojapoki is one of those players on the team that Coach Schmadson just continues to rave about and how he believes that he should be the WAC Defensive Player of the Year. Again, continuing to lead the WAC, averaging about three and a half blocks per game. Makes the second free throw. The Wolverines trail by eight, 59, 51, seven minutes left to play. Quoll. Flavors. Armstrong. Boyd. Brandon Boyd, step back jumper, no good. Big rebound by Dejon Davis. Davis looking for help, gives way to Armstrong. Boyd gives way to Davis. Blocked from behind by Isaiah White. In transition, here comes Isaiah White. Utah Valley trying to put defense to offense. That one no good. Dejon Davis gets the ball right back for the Lancers. Cool. Gives way to Davis. Davis, head down. No good. Here comes Washington. Again, the Wolverines trailing by eight. Five minutes and 45 seconds left. Washington comes off a screen. Kicks it back out to Brandon Aver. Brandon Aver makes a guy miss. Beautiful layup. Armstrong picks up his ankles. Five thirty left. Wolverines trail by six. Davis on the floor, and Davis too strong, flexing those muscles. Davis now nineteen points. T.J. Washington give and go. T.J. Washington the beautiful finger row. Fifty-five sixty-one. Intensity continuing to bubble here. Brandon Boyd being pressed by Brandon Averett. Boyd zigzagging his way. Boyd clearing out, calling his number. Step back three-pointer, no good. Rebound by T.J. Washington and company. Trey Woodbury to T.J. Washington. Washington gets blocked by Davis. Would have been very pretty play. Boyd's going to slow things down. 4.30 left, 55-61. Boyd to Dejon Davis, poked up in the air by Brandon Averitt. Davis now to Flavors for three. Flavors rimmed off, Armstrong with the rebound, Armstrong with the putback, and it goes in. 55-63, Lancers on top with four minutes left to play. Brandon Averitt. Kaz and Jardine going to come in for the Wolverines. Isaiah White with the floater. That one no good. Three forty left to play. Again, 63-55. Brandon Boyd just going to be trying to milk this clock for what he can do. Averitt trying to poke it. Eight, seven, six, five. Flavors, top of the key. That one comes off left. TJ Washington with pace. No offensive foul. Boyd falls. Isaiah White dashes, slashes to the rim, and finishes. 57 63. Three minutes left to play.
Utah Valley needs a couple defensive stops here. Boy continuing to do what he did last possession. Gets his space. That one comes off. No good. Rebounded again by Trey Woodbury. Here comes TJ Washington. 2.38 left to play. Bounce pass to Isaiah White. White in the paint. He made a loja pokey. No good. And 2.25 left to play in regulation. again, Wolverines trailing by six. Brandon Boyd, iso ball, makes his move with seven on the shot clock. Spin move in the paint. Doesn't get that one to go. Rebound again by the Wolverines. Can they capitalize this time? T.J. Washington, stutter step in the key. T.J. Washington finds a crease, puts it up and in for a layup. Timeout called by Coach Madsen, and he actually slips and falls trying to get the coach... Can't get the timeout because he couldn't get the referee's attention. Coach Manson ran all the way up the court. 59-63, Wolverines trail by four. Brandon Boyd just going to continue to do this for the remainder of the game. Utah Valley can't rely on them missing, but they cause a turnover. Boyd dribbles the ball off his foot. Utah Valley will get the ball back after the timeout. Trailing by four. We'll take a break right here in the WAC Digital. In the WAC, we value sportsmanship on the field, on the track, on the court, in the pool, and in the stands. We take pride in playing fair and being honest. We honor the game by showing respect for our opponents, the officials, the fans, and our team. Great sportsmanship is about keeping everything in perspective. It's about taking ownership after a loss. And being humble after a win. We hope you'll team up with us by staying positive on the sidelines. Because great sportsmanship is what unites us. We We are are the Western Western Athletic Athletic Conference. Conference. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Utah Valley still in this ballgame, trailing by four. Just a little over a minute left to play. Wolverines trying to win at home, trying to get back-to-back wins here in the Western Athletic Conference after taking down again on Saturday the Lopes of Grand Canyon for the first time since 2014. And you can tell Coach Madsen's motivated by this one here tonight. Wants to get a big W for his squad and his hometown crowd. We'll see what happens here in the next minute and a half or so on the court here in the UCCU Center. Wolverine basketball after a turnover before that last timeout. Brandon Boyd dribbled the ball off of his foot. Can the Wolverines capitalize? They don't need a three. They just need some points. PA announcer Dustin Berlin encouraging the hometown crowd to get on their feet, make some noise. Flavors guards TJ Washington on the inbounds, along with Milan Aqua, who checks back into the game. Buck 19 left, Trey Woodbury. 59-63, TJ Washington. Emana Lojapoki. Brandon Averett on the floor. Averett cross between his legs, down low to Olojapoki. Kicks it back out to Averett. Seven, six, five on the shot clock. Averett drives, fade away. Good! Pure from Brandon Averett. 61 63. Wolverines down by two. We'll stay here with it. Full timeout called on the floor. Take another look at it. Desperation shot by Brandon Averett. Perfect arc clutch. Again, Wolverines trailing by two. 
Wolverines on a 6-0 run over the last two and a half minutes. And the Lancers on a scoring drought over the last three and a half minutes. 63-61. Milan Aqua with four personal fouls for the Lancers. Flavors with three. So far, the Wolverines, only Trey Woodbury with three. Everybody else is safe. Boyd with 14, Flavors with 11, Davis with 19 for the Lancers. Isaiah White with 15, Brandon Abert with 14 for the Wolverines leading the scoring. The energy in the UCCU center is palpable. 57 seconds left in regulation. Do we have overtime? Will we have a winner in regulation? The next... 57 seconds will let us know. Right now, it'll be Lancer basketball. The Wolverines on the floor. Brandon Averitt, Isaiah White, Trey Woodbury, Kaz and Jardine, and J.J. Overton, and Iman Alojapoki for the Lancers. Nottage, Flavors, Davis, Aqua, Boyd. Wolverines not pressuring the inbound here. And Milan Aqua sends Brandon Boyd up the court. Aqua gets past that timeline. And he's just going to try and sit there and force the Wolverines to make a move. Again, if the Wolverines foul, puts the Lancers at the free throw line. See what the move is. Boyd cuts, 10 on the clock. Aqua drives. Finds a crease, trying to put up a circus shot, no good. J.J. Overton with the fast break for the Wolverines. Overton gets the foul, count it, and one. Oh, the referees are going to blow it off. They're going to say no shot. This place would have absolutely exploded. Had an opportunity to go ahead free throw. They're going to say that that foul was called on the floor before the shot. And J.J. Overton's going to try and calm himself down. Take a couple deep breaths. Some big free throws here from J.J. And I need to take some deep breaths too. J.J. Overton misses. Iman Alojapoki gets a rebound. And Coach Madsen quickly calls a timeout. 18 on, the, 18 on the shot clock, 24 seconds total. And we'll take a quick break as well. We'll step. No, I beg your pardon. They changed it. 30 second timeout only, so we'll stay here. Sixty-one, sixty-three. Utah Valley has trailed as much as 16 points. They've come all the way back to keep themselves in this game. They made the stops and got the turnovers that they needed to. Got a big rebound off of a J.J. Overton missed free throw by Iman Alojapoki. And here the Wolverines have an opportunity to tie the game or take the lead. T.J. Washington will inbound. On the side for the Wolverines. Coach Rick Croy and the Lancers trying to get a stop or a turnover of some kind. TJ Washington guarded by Milan Aqua. Now the Wolverines, they don't need a three-pointer. Coach Madsen says to hold up. Brandon Averett has the ball. Now Isaiah White. Brandon Avery, T.J. Washington, nine on the clock. Washington drives, in trouble, gives the ball on the floor, scrambling, nine seconds left in the game, two on the shot clock. Possession arrow is in favor of the Lancers.
It'll be Lancer basketball with nine seconds left. And the officials are going to go to the scores table to try and take a look and see if they can reset the shot clock or, excuse me, the game clock. Sixty-three, sixty-one. The Lancers on top of the Wolverines, and they got the Wolverines. A, they forced the Wolverines to put up a bad shot. Some fantastic defense there towards that last drive, and you see T.J. Washington again, one of the leading factors as to why the Wolverines are in this game. And Brandon Averett's clutch fade away to bring the Wolverines within two. Big controversial play, J.J. Overton got fouled or what they thought was in the act of shooting but then the referees called it off that would have put J.J. Overton at the line for a potential go ahead three point play but instead puts him at the line misses the first Utah Valley gets the rebound and then with that offensive possession they couldn't capitalize Wolverines not dead yet nine seconds left on the clock Eman Alojapoki with those big long arms of his Going to try and guard the inbound from Brandon Boyd. Wolverines all playing man defense here. Eman Alojapoki. And somehow Brandon Boyd gets bailed out. Right before the five second, he calls a timeout. And we'll take a quick break as well. We'll be right back in a couple seconds after this on the WAC Digital Network. I have been inspired by strong female athletes, female coaches, women in power. They just really taught me how to be a leader and inspired me to take on leadership roles. It's important to inspire the next generation because it's important to give kids someone to look up to. You know, it's important to have these mentors. I would say to someone who wants to play sports at the D1 level, you've got to be good in the community, good in the classroom, and to show people that sports do not define you. Nine seconds left in regulation. Lancers on top of the Wolverines by two, 63 to 60. Brandon Boy going to try act number two and try and get this ball in play. Eman Alojapoki with those big long arms ahead going to try and disrupt this inbound somehow. Aqua coming off of the screen, finds some crease, and they foul him. Seven and a half seconds left. And they're going to call this one on Brandon Averett. Wolverine fans in the vicinity wanting a jump ball call. And they're not going to get it. Bull Qual checks in for Brandon Boyd. Brandon Boyd did his job. Brandon Boyd with 14 points on the evening. Seven and a half seconds left. Wolverines down by two. Milan Aqua at the free throw line. Coach Madsen going to call a timeout. He'll take a 30-second timeout. And we'll stay here. Coach Madsen trying to do what he can. Try and ice Milan Aqua. No timeouts left for either team. Seven and a half seconds left in regulation. And Milan Aqua after this timeout at the free throw line. Utah Valley closing things out over the last three minutes with a 6-0 run, just unable to find that equalizer. Aqua, Nottage, Quoll, Flavors, and Davis on the floor for the Lancers. White, Washington, Alojapoki, Averett, Woodbury on the floor for the Wolverines. Aqua so far on the evening. This is his first opportunity at the free throw line and he makes the first so stretches it now to a three point lead for the Lancers one of one from the free throw line is Milan Aqua the 
And Aqua makes both. Four point Lancer lead. Utah Valley needs a miracle here. TJ Washington picks it up. His time expires. He tries to get a foul call. Gets blocked. And the Lancers are going to come away victorious in a thriller here in Orem, Utah. Final score, California Baptist 65, Utah Valley 61. Isaiah White, your high scorer for the Wolverines, 15 points on 7 of 13 from the floor. Dejon Davis, 19 points, 8 of 17 from the floor. So the Wolverines fall to the California Baptist Lancers. And the Lancers continue. Quite a wonderful season. And again, they are not eligible for postseason play, but should they be, right now they are tied for second in the conference. So they will travel on Saturday to Seattle to take on the Red Hawks. And again, this was the Wolverines' only game of the week. Next game for the Wolverines will be next Saturday at home against Seattle U. Again, it was a tough one here for the Wolverines tonight, but you have to tip your cap off to Coach Croy and the Lancers of CBU. They came into Orm, Utah, and they did the job that they needed to. They got the big W. So Wolverines will take an introspection over the next week or so. Again, next home game for the Wolverines, not until next Saturday, 2 p.m., against the Red Hawks of Seattle U. For all of our hardworking staff and crew behind the scenes, for our, our courtside director, producer, and studio, Ben Schroeder, I'm Brandon Crow saying so long and good night from Orem, Utah. <laughs>